Air is a mixture of many gases. It contains nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide, water vapor, etc. We can perform a simple experiment to prove that air contains water vapor. Take a steel glass. Fill it up with ice cubes and keep it on a table. Observe the outer surface of the glass. Small droplets of water get collected on the outer side of the glass. Can you tell why? Due to the ice cubes, the temperature of air around the glass falls. Or we can say that the air around the glass cools down due to the ice cubes. So, the water vapor in the surrounding air changes into a liquid form, which is water. We say that air cools down and water vapor present in the surrounding air condenses to form water. This water gets collected on the surface of the glass containing ice cubes. A similar process happens when dew drops are formed on grass in a winter season. The amount of water vapor that air can hold is measured by humidity. This amount of water vapor, that is, its humidity, is different at different places. Its level also varies in the same place at different time in a particular day. When the temperature of air is low, its capacity to hold water vapor is less. Hence, we see dew drops in early morning and not in the afternoon. Why does it take longer to dry wet clothes during the rainy season than in summer? In summer, the temperature is high, so the air can hold more water vapor compared to the maximum capacity of air to hold water vapor, the water vapor present in the air in summer is less. So, it can collect more water vapor from the wet clothes. Hence, clothes dry faster in summer season. During rainy season or monsoon, the quantity of water vapor in the air is already so high that the air cannot collect any more water vapor from the wet clothes. Hence, it takes longer for wet clothes to dry in a rainy season. Humidity in air is measured using an instrument called a hygrometer. Stand in one corner of a room. Ask your friend to stand in another corner of the room. Take a scent bottle in one hand and open it. Ask your friend if he can smell it. Your friend replies, yes, he can. How can he smell the scent at one corner of the room? The room contains air molecules. They are continuously moving randomly. We say that molecules of air are in constant random motion. The scent molecules also travel with the air, due to which your friend can smell the scent in spite of him being at the other corner of the room. Take a pichkari which you use for playing colors during Holi. Pull the piston out and allow the air to enter the cylinder. Now, leave the piston. Does it move or does it remain there? The piston remains in the same position. Now, close the inlet hole of the pichkari with your thumb. Pull the piston and leave it. What do you observe? The piston starts moving inwards and stops after some time. Why? When we pull the piston with the inlet hole of the pichkari closed, more space becomes available to the air molecule. But to balance the air pressure outside the pichkari, the piston moves in. So that the air pressure inside and outside the pichkari balances. What is this air pressure? We know that molecules of air are in a constant random motion. Now, when these molecules hit the surface, they create pressure on that surface. Now, let us understand what happens when the inlet of Pichkari is closed. As no more air can enter inside, more space is available to the air molecules that are inside. So, they hit the walls of the Pichkari less number of times, which creates less pressure. Whereas, outside, more number of air molecules are constantly moving and hitting the outer surface. So, 
the outside pressure is more. The piston closes in to give less space to the air molecules so that they hit the surface more number of times to increase the pressure to balance the pressure outside of the pichkari. You can perform the same experiment by using an injection syringe without a needle. Summary Air is a mixture of nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide, water vapor, etc. The amount of water vapor that air can hold is called humidity and this is measured using an instrument called the hygrometer. Now answer the following question. Which component from air is used by plants in photosynthesis? Mm -hmm.